Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to Coding Champs. In today's video, we are going to be solving the problem greatest common divisor of strings. The problem states that we are given with two strings S and T. We say that T divides yes if and only if S equal to some concatenation times of E, i.e. T is concatenated with itself one or more times. Given two strings, string 1 and string 2, return the largest string x such that x divides both string 1 and string 2. So, we are given with two strings and we have to find a string that is repeated some number of times in both the strings, string 1 and string 2 and it should be largest. So, the name the greatest common divisor. Let's take a look at the examples. In the first example, we are given with the string 1 ABC ABC and string 2 ABC. So, we can clearly see that ABC is repeated twice here and ABC is repeated once here. So, the greatest common divisor will be ABC. And in the second example, we can see AB, AB, AB and we have here AB, AB. So, in this case, here AB is repeated thrice, here AB is repeated twice. So, the answer is AB. If we have AB, AB, AB and AB and second string as AB, AB, then what will be the greatest common divisor? Here AB, AB is repeated twice. So, this AB, AB and this AB, AB and this is one AB, AB. So, here the answer will be AB, AB. But here we have only repeated three times and this is repeated two times. So, we return AB. In this case, we have lead and we have code. There is no repeated string or a common string here. So, we return empty string as the GCD. And string 1 and string 2 consist of English uppercase characters only. Okay, so uh, to, to solve the problem, first we have to check the base condition. Base condition means... Uh, when does the GCD exist between two strings? In this case, the GCD doesn't exist. So, we return empty string. So, when does the GCD doesn't exist? We can not simply say that if string 1 not equal to string 2, then GCD doesn't exist. In this case also, string 1 is not equal to string 2, but the GCD exists. We have to check there is if there is some repeating string in both the strings. So, to check that, what we can do, since we have some repeating number of uh, string in both the strings, we can check string 1 plus string 2 and we can also calculate string 2 plus string 1. Then, this both strings will be equal. If there exists a common string, that is repeated, then these two strings will be equal, right? Even if we take from front to back or from, if we consider first this string, then this string also, the concatenation will be equal. If we consider first this string and this string, then also the concatenation will be same. So, we can check if, if string 1 plus string 2 if this is not equal to string 2 plus string 1, then we can just simply return the empty string. So, this is the case where we are checking if the GCD is exist or not. And next, we have to actually find the GCD. I hope you all know how we find the GCD of two numbers. If you don't, I will link a video. You can check that out. We, we do using the Euclidean algorithm in T A comma into B. Then we return if b equal to 0, we return a, return a or else we recursively compute the GCD by GCD of b comma a mod b. This is the Euclidean algorithm of finding GCD between the two numbers. Okay. So, to find between the two strings, um, here we can compute the length of string 1 and string 2 and we can perform the GCD between two lengths to get the G the repeating string length. So, in number numbers as well, we have, if suppose we take this example and here we have length 6 and uh, here we have length 4. So, uh, GCD of 6 comma 4 is nothing but 2. Right? Why? We have 
2 into 2 into 2 and we have 2 into 2. So the GCD is 2. Here also AB. We have AB, AB, AB repeated and then here AB into AB. So AB will be the answer. This is similar but in, in the in place of numbers we have strings. So we can compute the GCD of two lengths and then we can take a substring of any of the strings to return the GCD. Okay, so what we can do? We return the substring. Let's take S1 dot substring. I think substring in C++ and then we start from zero and then we take the length of GCD. GCD of S1 dot size comma S2 dot size. And we return the string. Looks good. Let us run the code. We got an error S1. Okay, we have string 1. String 1. String 1. And string 2. Now let's run the code. Passed all the sample test cases. Let us submit it. It passes all the test cases. So I hope you have understood today's problem. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to Coding Charms for more daily videos. See you all in my next video. Till then, keep practicing. Take care. Bye-bye.